Hi everyone. In travel, it's been said that the journey is more important than the destination and we're putting that to the test today. Today I'm going to be doing my inaugural timetable challenge. I'll be catching two buses, two trains, three ferries. I'll be travelling 82 miles over seven and a half hours. What could possibly go wrong? Well, on paper it should work, but at the moment we have COVID-19, which means the services can be reduced at short notice. They can be cancelled without warning and capacity on buses, trains and ferries has been reduced to enforce social distancing. So, this is going to be a challenge. Uh, the train is due in about 5 or 10 minutes. I'll be on it and I'll see you when we get to our second connection point, which is Danoon. I've made it to Danun. I now have to catch the bus to Collintrave, which leaves in about 10 minutes. Now this is the 12.50 bus, and that's important because that's the last bus of the day. 12.50 in the afternoon, last bus of the day. If I miss that one, then the whole plan falls apart like a house made of cards. Right, bus stop number two. I'm here at bus stop number two and to my surprise there's a timetable which shows a very different departure time for this bus which I'm waiting to catch. Uh, according to the uh, timetable online it should be leaving in about five minutes. According to the bus stop here it leaves in about two hours which could cause a major problem. We'll find out which one is right in five minutes. Well, that's leg number three completed. It was a bit touch and go when I saw that um, timetable showing the wrong time. I was really quite worried. Okay, behind me we've got the ferry. That goes across the strait over to the Isle of Butte. And that operates every 30 minutes. So there's no great hurry because the connecting bus doesn't leave for about two hours. So I have the luxury of spending time either here or on the other side. And there's slightly more things to see and do on this side. Not by much though. I think there's an old cairn down there and there's a memorial up there. So I'm gonna go for a bit of a walk, maybe have some lunch, and uh, I'll see when we get onto that ferry.
Well, that was probably one of the shortest ferry rides I've ever done. It was so short that the health and safety announcement was actually finishing as the ramp comes down to allow the cars off at the other side. Right, I've now got 50 minutes to kill before the bus turns up. I just hope the bus does turn up. I just had a very nice couple ask me if I wanted a lift to Guruk, which is the next point on my itinerary. Um, I think that would be cheating though if I used a car, because this is a timetable challenge, so I had to decline their kind offer, but I thought it was nice that they asked. We now have 40 minutes to wait for my bus. While I'm killing time waiting for this bus, this is as good a time as any to ask you to subscribe if you haven't already done so. You know perfectly well this is a really good travel channel. Uh, 40 years experience in travel and tourism, what could possibly go wrong? Anyway, um, I'm thinking about doing another timetable challenge, but I'm thinking of maybe making it a little harder because so far, apart from one little scare in Danun when I saw an old timetable, this hasn't been too hard. But that could still change. That's leg number five completed. I'm in the town of Rothsey. I was starting to get a little bit worried though because 4.05 p.m. came and went and there was just no sign of this bus arriving, but it turned up a bit late, but I was starting to get a very sinking feeling in my stomach. Anyway, ferry to the mainland now.
Well, I made it, even though, to be honest, my heart skipped a beat on three occasions. One was the wrong timetable on the bus shelter, the second time was the bus that was running late, and the third time was this train here, which actually just stopped in the middle of nowhere for 10 minutes. That's why I was filming sheep, because there was nothing else to do. Anyway, what did you think of my inaugural timetable challenge? Should I do more? If I do, I'll probably increase the number of legs from 7 to 8 to 9 maybe, just to make it a little more uh, interesting. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you made it this far anyway, because you must be curious to see how it ended. And let me know what you think about future uh, timetable challenges. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.